You're watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with John Edge. Brought to you by Bobby Wilson's Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Owensboro Catholic Schools, Champion Ford Lincoln Mazda, and Via Media. Hi, everybody. It's Rod Wilkerson, back from City County Sports. I'm here at Still Stadium with the Owensboro Catholic Coach, John Edge. John, how are you doing today? Doing good. John, Friday night you had Owensboro. I know it didn't turn out the way you wanted it. Give us your thoughts on the game. Well, you know, no, nobody wants to, uh, you know, admit to a 43 to nothing beating, and that's what they did. They 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 came in. They were ready to play. Owensboro, you got to give them a ton of credit about, for everything in the game. They did what they wanted to do, and uh, you know, and they and they they're looking to have a bright season. Uh, so you know, that uh, it looks like they they will. Uh, you know, we got a lot of work to do, um, and we knew that after the Davis County game, um, and so. Uh, you know, we got exposed on some things, so we we really have to look sharp and and, and get better this week. And and, and like we talked about, I, I told them uh, after the game, I said, you know, bottom line is is that we've got to uh, learn from this. Uh, a lot of good stuff can come out of a loss like this uh, if we learn from it. If we take it as criticism, then. You know, it could be bad. I mean, you know, it'd be portrayed as negative and all that stuff. So, you know, the the main thing is we just got to come out here, coach them up, get them better. Uh, well, we got a couple of kids that are banged up, more, two more kids that are banged up, yeah. uh, and that's life. Hey, look, any good team, guys have to step up and play and rise to the occasion. So those kids that are sitting on the bench and uh, wanting that shot, and they're getting their shot now. And so it's up to them to get give us that, uh, uh, you know, that uh, – you know that there's no drop off that we right. just continue to get better and, and play the video, the film that you're looking at how do you use it as a teaching tool to get them ready for the next game and hey this they have to move on next game's coming up you know we, right, right, we had nine drops in that game that's that's too many especially a team that those this season we've had over over you know uh, close to 28 drops in the whole season that's not good uh, you know that's a that's an issue we're going to work on this whole week is it's catching the football looking at it in exaggerating the catch and there's been some misfires from uh, the quarterback i mean you know it's not all the receivers mm -hmm. fault either uh but in our old line as well they they took a step forward against the apollo and davis county and then we took a drop, drop back uh so again uh we we got to continue to get better defensively we didn't tackle well uh, we were out of position a lot of times. We were taking the dive uh, when they were supposed to take the, uh, the quarterback. And so uh, little things like that, uh, details, 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 that's all we stress. And uh, if we don't, uh, you know, understand the details, then, you know, we gotta, we got to have to uh, do something else, uh, shuffle the deck or whatever we got to do. But the uh, main thing is, is that, uh, you know, we, we got another game this week and we have to pop up and rise to the occasion and, and, and get a, the, the best way to, uh, to overcome a loss or is to get a win the right. next week. Your Penn Station player of the game, I know you have one, who was that? It was Matt Norsha. Uh, we felt like, you know, all season he's, he's only had, uh, I don't know if he's had a drop ball. So, uh, and he's, he caught a few balls against them and then um, they were pitching the ball on one of their options and he, he actually took it so uh, you know he, he had a pretty good game and, and and so we thought that he was deserving of that your coaching staff has changed since last year you've yes. added some new coaches how's that working out for you right now uh, pretty good I, I think uh, you know anytime you got uh, a change in coaches and everything there's there's you know you gotta you gotta get to know each other and and, and we feel like Steve Arnold and Scott Douglas and uh, Ryan Smith really uh, will help us. Uh, you know, they've they've been at OHS before, and so uh, they've coached there. And I think uh, I think those guys are uh, really good for us this year. They've done a great job on their in their perspective positions. Yeah, uh, Steve Arnold coaches the linebackers, and and uh, Scott coaches the defensive line. So and and Ryan helps out with the O line with Coach Pride. So we feel we feel really good. Put him in a chokehold, Bobby! Elbow dropping, Bobby! I'm back breaking Bobby Wilson! And I'm slamming high prices! Now, Bobby's slamming high prices on both sides of the river. At Bobby Wilson's Home Furnishings New Evansville store, you'll find the same quality furniture at low warehouse prices. I'm slamming high prices! Bobby Wilson's Home Furnishings on 9th Street between J.R. Miller and Triplett in Evansboro, and now on North Main at Columbia in Evansville.
Hi, this is Dick Brubaker from Champion Ford Lincoln Mazda. We're proud to be the sponsor of the Coach's Corner. Visit our website at championowensboro.com. The Champion Coach's Corner special today is a 2013 Mazda CX-5 starting at only $22,990. Champion Coach's Corner special 2013 Ford Edge SEs as low as $24,990. Those are our two Coach's Corner specials this week. Visit our website at championowensboro.com for a great lineup of new and used vehicles. How are you going to beat that? Education beyond the expected, success beyond the dream. I believe in achievement, belonging to a caring family, faith in education, Owensboro Catholic Schools. You're watching the John Ed Show on City County. Well, we're back with Coach Edge. John, you got South Spencer here at home. Give us a little bit of detail on South Spencer. Well, uh, they got a good quarterback in the Webb kid, and then they got another little running back, uh, Burden, Jake Burden, and then they have a um, receiver type, uh, kind of slash H back like we use. Uh, he is, his last name is Rowan, and number two, he's a really good football player. They all, they've got, they're real good. Uh, they're big up front. Uh, they average about 265 and uh, uh, about 6'1", 6'2", type of kids. Uh, really big kids. Uh, we got our hands full, and uh, you know it's it's very pivotal part of our uh, schedule too. I mean, we've got to come with a win before we get into this bye week. You mentioned earlier that the kids, they're on sidelines, are going to step up. You're asking quite a bit of them this week, aren't you? Well, oh, absolutely. I mean, we've got to have kids step up. We got several injured, and that's just uh, part of it. We're definitely going to. Uh, um, especially at linebacker and then of course to the line. You know, we're already thin there, and so it's going to be a little thinner. And we, We've got to have kids step up. I mean, this is their moment to shine and rise to the occasion. This is their opportunity. We tell them that right now they're on the stage, and you either do it or, or you know, or it's going to hurt us. So, you know, we're, we're going to work with them, and, and uh, just all I ask for is, is big effort, and I feel good about it. You're watching City County Sports, The Coach's Corner with John Edge. Brought to you by Bobby Wilson's Furniture, Penn Station East Coast Subs, Owensboro Catholic Schools, Champion Ford Lincoln Mazda, and Via Media. If you'd like to be a business sponsor of City County Sports Coach's Corner and show your school colors, call Via Media at 683-1094. Hi neighbors, I'm Barry Williams of Via Media, but you can call me Barry the Bowtie Guy. It's kind of my thing. As an account executive, I've worked with many Owensboro businesses to help make their cash registers ring. And I'm not afraid to do whatever it takes to get your message across. Whether it's assisting with a helpful tip that only you can provide to the community, a behind the scenes look at your business to attract customers, or a chef moment featuring one of your restaurant's famous dishes. I'm Barry the Bowtie Guy and I eat, drink, and sleep thinking about working for you. Give me a call to discuss the possibilities and thanks for watching Hometown Television Owensboro. 